have to attend to my oven. If anyone wants to um, join, then please do feel free to put your hand up. Um, so wanted to give everyone a bit of an update on some of the things that we've been working on recently. Um, it has been a very, very intense few months. Um, we absolutely charged into the end of last year. I mean, we didn't even slow down. Um, and I think the team had some nice time um, to rest over the over the Christmas break. Um, we were even working up on this X proposal campaign with Eric all the way. I was in London up until probably like Christmas Eve. And then we had stuff that we did with the Metal L2 as well. So it's been pretty, pretty hectic. But everyone has come back to um, 2024 feeling super energized and very focused. And I think we've got some really good plans that have, you know, sort of bottlenecked into January. So a few of those are obviously um, the Twitter um, advertising campaign, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, the relationship with X probably started about four months ago. I think I was engaging with a few individuals that work at X on, on the platform. One thing led to another. We had a couple of meetings with them. And then we've, you know, subsequently um, been interested in advertising with them. And I think it's, you know, it's it's an interesting platform for us to try. I think there's been a few pessimists around it, but, you know, a lot of our audience lives on Twitter. So we're really, really excited to fire this up as our first main um, advertising campaign for the XPR network, which is great. So as we know, Paul put through that governance proposal um, and fantastic to see everyone get behind that um, and pass. And I think what it's done is it's really set, you know, the foundations for what this year is all about. And we made a beautiful transition through to um, XPR network as a brand. I think the new website looks absolutely solid. Um, you know, always a work in progress, though. There's a huge list of things that, um, you know, Paul, I and the design team have been chatting about of what we want to bring to life. So, you know, more documentation on grants, more documentation on governance, um, just to really empower um, people that come to XPR Network that are interested in building. And, you know, I can firmly say that 2024 is the year of development. So everything that we're working on in terms of this advertising campaign is focused on showcasing the fantastic um, features that the XPR network has. So, you know, whether that be instant transactions, um, human readable usernames, which, you know, really fundamentally should just be a, a baseline standard for transacting on chain, which we've got and is, is ready to go. Um, the lack of gas fees, you know, no gas fees allows things like sending a dollar or, you know, halfway across the world with the, uh, the new gift feature on Metal X, which I think is very, very interesting. And we've also got a couple of um, cool ideas of how we can sort of scale that and, and make that an onboarding mechanism as well. So, you know, we really want to show developers that it's very easy to build on the XPR network. And, you know, we've already got a fantastic community of developers that are building and are active every day. And I think now that we've got this beautifully polished destination, it's really time to turn it on. So um, the campaign we're expecting to go live, hopefully this week, um, we've got a meeting with our advertising manager tomorrow to discuss some really uh, hyper optimized uh, audiences. Um, you know, fantastic to be able to work with the team that also develops the platform to help us with that market segmentation. So um, pleased about that. I will say I thought the video was coming today, but me being the annoying um, person that I am, had a couple of extra revisions with Eric and he's probably not listening to this because he's sleeping, but um, he has made those and we're probably expecting the final um, video tomorrow. I'll go through um, the design team at Metallicus just to make sure, you know, they've got their eagle eyes across it. And then hopefully we'll turn the campaign on by the end of um, end of the week. Um, as per the proposal, there were six videos included. This is the first. Um, now that we've got the baseline of sort of the direction of the campaign um, and where it's headed, um, the subsequent ones will be a lot easier to um, to manage. And a lot of them, this one's focused on just the general benefits of the chain. So human readable names, no gas fees, instant transactions, um, and essentially being the way to bridge the world to blockchain through the XPR network. Um, subsequent ones are going to be focused on development. So development languages, you know, the fact that you can use WebAssembly and, you know, and this is a little bit out of my sort of technical depth, but you know, uh, development languages that are way more familiar with, you know, Web2 developers, which I think is interesting. I think a lot of devs that are, you know, in Web2 companies right now are scared by smart contracts. And I think Saeed, Marshall, Glenn, and the entire development team have done a really fantastic, you know, job of making it um, easy to build on XPR. So that's um, one part. And then the final is the grants. So, you know, we've got an incredible DAO dashboard now, which I would say is well-oiled um, and working pretty well. So, you know, starting from permissionless, which, um, I had a little additional success for you, but that brought us a relationship with um, a very high profile developer um, who was now supporting us with some work that we're doing on the XBR network. Can't really say much more than that, but that was incredible that, um, you know, the community was able to vote and get us down into Austin to build some of those relationships. Um, we then obviously had Milk Road um, and we've still got content drip feeding through that. I'll give you a really nice um, stat on that front. Um, Metal X was previously the 13th ranked search result when searching for Metal X um, on Google. 
and we really wanted to ramp our SEO efforts up. So we've obviously dropped this incredible new um, landing page. But we used some of this work with Milk Road to make sure that we had links that really help optimize MetalX. And I think well, in Canada, definitely, we're the second ranked um, website for MetalX. And we're currently being outpipped by some 3D printer. But I'm pretty confident with the um, PR drops that we've got coming in the next couple of weeks with two massive tier one titles. I read and signed off um, a piece which is going to hopefully come in the next couple of days on Metallicus, Metal Pay, Arena uh, especially, um, which will be dropping very, very soon. So, you know, hopefully Metal X will, will be bouncing up from that. So Milk Road has been really helpful for us. Um, they've obviously done the two product reviews, which, you know, we were very proud of. I think 4.2 for WebAuth um, of where it's at now and the plans that we have for it as a product is phenomenal. There's only 0.8, you know, to get up to that five out of five mark. Um, and then I think off the top of my head, I think we've got 4.4 for Metal X as well. So giving the, um, the developments that we've got in the pipeline for Metal X and how we're going to upscale that into, you know, even more than it is already. It's a very, um, it's been very, very beneficial working with those guys. So thank you for pushing that one through. I know there were some skeptics, um, but we voted on it. And I think it's the start of a very good relationship with them. And hopefully we've got an editorial connection with them too, to keep, you know, working, moving forwards just beyond the spend um, that the proposal achieved. Um, we've then got, you know, the hot topic of the day, um, the Harvard uh, Behavioral Strategy Group um, proposal, which has come through. Super interesting one, this. Um, they approached Metallicus for our focus on compliance and blockchain solutions, which was, you know, firstly fantastic. And then, to, you know, for them to hear about the governance dashboard and then want to, you know, find a way to combine it with the XPR network from funding the proposal um, to making sure that we co-author it and talk about how co-marketing solutions can help do, you know, things like this um, and um, support work towards, you know, furthering the industry, working out target demographics. Like we, you know, as a blockchain and a community should want to understand how to reach more people and what they're looking for to bridge, you know, their Web2 businesses into the world of blockchain. So um, buzzing for that. Um, they are <laughs> waiting to go back to school. And I think it's funny because we spend all of our time on the internet that actually some people do work at normal weeks and um, actually take holidays. So apologies on the delay of them confirming from their official account. Um, but I can assure you that um, that should be coming quite soon. And I think Something that's really interesting was, you know, this idea of me, I don't know if you've seen my recent tweet, but betting a community member that we will be able to secure um, this confirmation. And I think it's a perfect example for, you know, a working use case um, on the network. So I've chatted to a couple of developers and we're going to see whether we can bring that to life, um, have a bit of a fun wager on it and, and see where we go. So, yeah, that kind of rounds up the, the focus on development. Um, but our plan is to level up from, you know, permissionless, Blockworks, Harvard Business um, Strategy Group and start talking to people that want to build, you know, really meaning th meaningful things on chain. So um, still in conversations with the Yas Marina circuit, um, I think potentially what we could do with them is a, um, a vehicle wrap of one of their retail experiences. And I know it's probably brand awareness focused to start with, but they have, you know, an incredible group of executives of high profile companies in the UAE doing those experiences. And I think to have a blockchain, uh, you know, right in front of them from a brand awareness perspective is very strong. But we've also, you know, chatted with them about potentially bringing to life um, some on-chain use cases with, you know, some very simple NFT execution. So, for example, my fiance and I did the Aston Martin, um, I think it was the GT4 experience. And I shouldn't say embarrassingly, but embarrassingly, Tamara, my fiance, I think, pipped me on the top speed of like 215 kilometers per hour on the, um, the long straight of the Aston Marina circuit. And these are all really cool things that could be minted into NFTs as experiences and keepsakes. So rather than just leave with, you know, the video that they give you, what if we put that on chain and into someone's wallet? So there are thoughts around, you know, how do we progress from a bit of brand awareness work to then actually building something tangible and then going from there. That's one. The second is we've been back and forth in talks with Ironman, the triathlon group. I know I've spoke about this. You might have seen some mock-ups from a couple of years ago of um, an NFT marketplace, which um, was dreamed up by Paul, myself and Ivan and Arena. But, you know, Ironman love telling you that they've done an Ironman and they've got a huge portfolio of, you know, high net worth individual athletes who are probably looking to bring blockchain into their worlds, whether from a personal retail perspective or whether development for their companies and one of the ideas we pitched to Ironman was that every race you would finish, you would get a commemorative NFT, which would be uh, minted on chain, you know, complete with um, race time, you know, the number that you've done. And then from there, the opportunities are endless, right? It's like you complete three races, you get 10% off your next um, race and you can build in reward mechanisms as well. So um, that's kind of like the brandy side of things. And then, you know, Paul and the squad are working really hard and Rocker One too, um, and Marco to you know, bring more bounties and more integrations for the network and the wallet. And I think um, we've had a couple published recently. I know there are some very interesting ones getting published in the next few weeks. Um, 
so yeah, the, the third bucket of X advertising is going to be focused on th that grant. And what we want is to just really go absolutely wild across, across Twitter, attracting developers with this big grant figure. And, you know, some might pass, some might not, but that's for the community to decide. It's for us of what we think is in, you know, benefit of this network. And I think we're just really set for an incredible few months ahead um, with the XPR network. Um, one last thing I want to mention, you know, Paul has also worked on um, the campaign with Reddit, which I think is phenomenal. Uh, you know, the subreddit cryptocurrency has been a huge um, melting pot of people interested and, you know, sometimes actually a difficult audience to talk with because I think a lot of the time people go in and just try and shill their projects. But Paul is actually working on building a function that will essentially engage on chain with these um, subredditors or redditors within cryptocurrency. So super cool, you know, in and around the time of the X campaign dropping, which I think is awesome. Um, and then last but not least, because I think the time is about to go off on my uh, chicken in the oven, which I don't want to burn. Um, I'll be in big trouble. But the most exciting thing that I think we've been working on the last couple of days um, is with the design team, Mark, Ivan and Paul, is we've been working on the web off landing page. And this is, you know, it's probably going to be music to Marco's ears because he's been banging on about it for so long. And we've worked through a lot of the stuff that we've had to and we've finally been able to get to it. Um, I think super important. You know, we are users of the wallet. And right now you can log on webauth.com and um, connect your account, assign a signing device so you're able to access it on the web. A lot of people, I think, use the mobile wallet, but, you know, the great functionality of the WebAuth wallet is that it is a browser-based wallet, and you can subsequently add more security through your Face ID, through a YubiKey, through Android, through Windows Hello. And what we're saying is, is, you know, come and open a WebAuth wallet and then make sure to back it up even further because true security in, in this industry is paramount, and, and that's, you know, the education piece that we want to put on. So um, we've got a cracking... Um, design for this landing page um, it's currently with um, executives and developers to you know pick apart and, and make sure it's right but i think us as a team i think it's pretty solid and we're looking forward to to getting that out to you very soon and i think it's going to come in perfectly with um the launch of this x campaign because as we know web is the you know it's the tool to access the xpr network it's how you access that community how you vote on those DAO proposals how you trade how you bridge assets over and you know hopefully soon how you interact with some of the biggest retail brands globally from a, a web3 perspective and you know, I'll leave you with one final signing thought is I think in, you know, the last few years, we've seen a lot of blockchains work with um, big names, but how many of them have actually built tangible things that improve people's lives um, with blockchain? And, you know, I can probably count on my hand that don't really stretch a lot behind the commoditization of using blockchain in the sense of buying assets to be part of, you know, a, a, a digital club or added onto a retail product. But what we really care about at Metallicus as the core developer of the XPR network is how do we get people interacting with blockchain today? Because if we can't get them to be using the tools and the websites to engage on a blockchain, how can we get them to transact? And I think, you know, fundamentally, if we can continue to show incredible use cases for the technology, we can absolutely keep progressing in, you know, the mission that we all have, which is to bridge finance with blockchain. So um, my timer has just gone off. I'm going to literally one question, I guess, maybe James, do you have anything on that? Or have I just been rambling on for too long now? Or Paul or Frank? But cool. I mean, I'm super excited. There's a lot of incredible stuff in the works. Um, we are more committed to making this entire ecosystem than anyone else. And I guess the main thing I would say is, is that, you know, people do like to chat stuff, you know, in not polite ways. But we at this company and every single individual that I work with is, you know, so committed to, to what we're trying to do. So I just want to make sure that people are thoughtful when they're thinking that, you know, behind a Twitter account, there is actually a human that's working super hard. So make informed decision. Don't jump to conclusions. Choose where you hang out as well. You know, that's a big one. Like, choose where you're getting your information from because, um, you know, there's a phrase in, I think, New Zealand or Australia, and it's called cutting down the tall poppy. And I think people in this industry can often be um, guilty of that. So let's go. Massive year. I'm going to dip um, and I will hopefully speak to you all soon.